hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to explore and explain the aws amplify pricing model what it cost you to use it and what are the different uh, model they have before that if you are new to this channel or if you are new to aws amplify i already created some videos in the past about the introduction of this and how to implement uh, user authentication with aws amplify and how to create the admin ui uh, how to use admin ui to create your application and create the data structure for it okay so let's go back to the pricing one so this is the pricing page uh, for aws amplify and here you can see they have a different uh, options so first one is uh, creating a backend so as you know with aws amplify you can able to create your backend your front end and everything so you can create backend that can work with your web application with react or angular or it, the backend can work with your mobile apps as well with android and react native right and so if you uh, create a backend in aws amplify so for that they have a pay as you go plan so what does that mean so uh, if you are starting a new application and you don't have any user at the beginning so it won't cost you much as it grows and uh, they uh, in the back end you create cloud functions so the more the you, you use uh, this back end the more it will cost you so for example uh, it count and read and writes per month so let's see so they mentioned about it so as you can see the you can create a back end for ios android flutter web application or react native application right so amplify studio CLI libraries is no at no cost, but when you create uh, the backend, so it will create the database, the uh, uh, URL routing, and uh, the cloud functions, DynamoDB, and you can use the authentication with Cognito. So these are the services they mentioned. So these are being used. So for these services, you have to pay, right? Okay. So the second option is uh, creating a front-end UI. So with uh, Amplify UI component library, which I covered uh, in my one of the previous video. So you can able to create the your front end UIs within AWS Amplify and that is completely free. They are not charging anything for that. But uh, to be honest, if you're using that front end UI, so you will be hosting your app or you will be using some backend for that. So anyway, so they will charge you for, for that. So this building a front end UI is free okay so uh, the next option is uh, hosting an app so they divided it into two parts so you can see so it is free for first year so they are not going to charge anything for the first 12 months that's what they mentioned and what services you get uh, build and deploy and this is also not completely free so you can see there are no cost up to 1000 build minutes per month so in month they are giving you 1000 build minutes what does that mean so if you uh, let's say you have a react application and your application took three minutes to create a build right so you can see one build uh, taking three minutes so you can uh, you, so you, you can do the calculation so you need to divide thousand by three that many builds you can create in a month okay and then you have data storage so there is no cost up to 5 gb and then they have cdn per month then data transfer out so still uh, till 15 15 gb per month is free and if you go above that so they will charge you as you go and uh, request count they have 50000 request per month free request duration so they mentioned it over here and uh, let's say after that uh, these are the charges so if you say if you cross 1000 bill then what they will charge so this is what they charge you 0 0.01 dollar per minute uh, I can increase the font size okay so uh, these are the charges for everything when you cross this right for the first year and uh, below that they also given uh, two examples so to calculate that so let's say example one uh, let's try to understand this example so what this says let's say you have startup and you have five developers in your team and uh, you have 300 daily active users on your application and every 
team commits uh, code two times per day okay and based on that they will do the calculation so the monthly build and deploy charges will be uh, three minute they are assuming average build time and uh, there are 20 days in a month that the developers will be working total build time per month will be calculated based on number of devs multiply by number of commits a day number of days multiply every average build time so we know five developer multiply by two multiply by 20 multiply by three so you have 600 build minute per month so this uh, 600 build minute per month will be multiply with dollar point zero one so you will be charged six dollar per month for the build only and uh, similar for your monthly hosting charges so based on your requests so based on this example it comes around eight dollar a month both so hosting is two dollar six dollar build and deploys right and this is example two so this will help you to uh, figure out uh, what the total cost will be to you at the end of uh, your trial period you can say or if you exhaust the limit that you get uh, the free free limit that you get in your free time if you re, uh, exhaust this thousand build time then it will charge you this one so uh, this is it so it won't charge you anything at the beginning and as they mentioned for a year it don't, it won't charge you anything if you stay in the limits only so i'm i'm using this application uh, i hosted multiple of my applications on this and um, that i built for myself only so there are not much active user and i am not getting uh, charged anything for that so it's totally free because i build it for me there might be five or ten active users on that that's it so yeah if you want to try building an application i would say this is the best uh, tool in the market that you can start it with and if you want to learn more about it you can uh, view uh, the videos that i have created already and uh, i will be adding more content uh, in future so you can uh, subscribe my channel for the new updates and that's all for this video